Hi guys, Eric Pathy here at PickDogs.com for your overnight report for Sunday, 428. I remember when it was April 1st, we were just getting into baseball. Now we're a month in, and like I said, baseball is profitable if you do all the right things. If you stay on the chalk side, you're always going to be on the wrong side. And it's basically almost been a month since baseball started, officially started on the 31st of March. People were hyper-focused on March Madness, but games were actually being played. So we're almost approaching a month. And as I said, and I'm going to just bring up the data here while I'm talking to you. As I said, dogs win 40% of the time. And we're going to get to a complimentary selection in a minute in the NBA tomorrow on Sunday. But going into baseball for almost a month, I said, if you flat bet every baseball game, you're going to win 40% of the time and you're going to actually make money. As long as you can maintain 38 to 40%. Well, guess what, guys? 41.6%. With almost a month into baseball, the dogs are 165 and 232. It means 165 dogs have won outright. 232 favorites have won outright. If you haven't learned anything in the last 30 days with regards to baseball, then you haven't learned anything, and you're not listening. Dogs, 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 or short favorites. But again, if you blindly bet every dog at the right price, you're actually up money, only winning almost 42% of the time. Now, with that being said, if you want to pick up one week of the Dime Club, it is a nickel. One month is a dime. If you're looking to pick up all access of our baseball and sharp trading, one week is two dimes, one month is four dimes. If you're looking to pick up Big Al's All Access, you can see Al's posting videos on this channel as I got him in the groove here. He's going to be coming with a free complimentary selection daily. You can get Big Al's All Access directly through me at 775-636-7676. Guys, 35 years of doing this for a living, not caring about what I'm watching, not caring about the teams, not caring about the sport. I know it's fundamentally not believable to a lot of people because most people love sports and love watching these events. I don't, I do not. I run a sports syndicate. I am not a sports handicapper. If you don't know the difference between sports gambling and sports betting, click the link below, the blueprint of sports trading. If you want to get access to all of our high volume uh, global markets, which are being extremely profitable for our clients that are picking them up. It's only a handful of them. You know who you are when you're watching this video. Have at least a twenty-five dollars to $50,000 cash bankroll and be ready to roll. 775-636-7676 and send me a text saying, let's chat. Now your complimentary selection. Tomorrow we have a nice day in the NBA as we're approaching uh, getting further into the series. You're going to look at this Bucks pacers game. This is a rare situation where the majority of the public is betting the Pacers against the Bucks. Get it, injuries, blah, blah, blah. But as you know, I always like to fade those line moves. Five and a half on the open, four-point move to nine and a half. I don't care about the injuries. I don't care about all the nonsense. It's called the injured man theory. Game one in this series, um, the Greek freak was out. The line moved. It didn't matter. Milwaukee kicked Pacers but now they've down 2 1 in the series, and you're getting nine and a half. Just take the Bucks plus the nine and a half for the cover. Good day and good luck.